sometimes you got to make a decision. Do you continue fighting at the level you're at? Maybe step down a level. Take time to recoup. Recover to try to get back past glory. They were going to discuss Mississippi Valley State, what they have to do. Because right now, it ain't working. Play the intro. Formerly known as Magnolia Stadium, Rice Totten has stood for over six decades, but never has undergone a change like this. Just to look at it and, you know, understanding where we were and where we are now, I mean, wow, it's the only word that's been coming to my mind. Valley head coach Kendrick Wade says it's been a long time coming. New field, new jumbotron, or perhaps translating to a new valley. It feel like Valley that's been elevated, you know, so, you know, Valley, um, times. Elevated. <laughs> elevated. Mississippi Valley has been saying they're going to get elevated for decades. Most schools have a rebirth after a couple of years. Maybe if they're really, really, really in the doldrums one decade. We're going on damn near 30 years. In the words of Rick Pitino, Jerry Rice ain't coming through that door. Willie Totten ain't walking through that door. You had Willie on staff, but he's not walking through that door anymore. What does Valley have to do to get any level of relevance right now? Mississippi Valley State is the epitome not of also ran, but why are you running right now? Yeah, yeah, great. The field upgrade was needed. Now, I tell people before, I'm in a place of privilege in Austin. Mississippi Valley State just upgraded their football field to be on a lower level high school field in Austin, Texas. That's the truth. That is how bad that turf was. But we got to understand something. Mississippi, it have been himself, is not in a place of privilege. So they got to work with what they work with, work with what they have. And I do give Valley credit. They play together as a band of brothers. But that band of brothers has to understand something else. Some way, somehow, they have to rise up or step down. Is that something that the coach has to decide? That's something that the administration can do. Because looking at schools who are below them versus Valley, when it comes to facilities, when it comes to, how I put this nicely, competitiveness, are they on the same level as Delta State? If they play Florida Memorial right now, who will win? NAIA schools will beat Valley at this point. It's not only because of, of, I don't want to say lack of talent, because honestly, these boys are doing something that I dreamed of doing. Yeah, I played D1 football, but <laughs> I didn't hear them to feel that much. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. These boys are doing what they, they, they want to do getting education, learning, and being out, being out there with their brothers. But until Valley can find a way to pay the coaching staff 
what coaches at an FCS level need to earn. I understand Mississippi is a very underfunded state. It'll be a very underfunded town. I get you. I've been there. I've seen it. It does not mean you can lean on that. If Mr. Wade is the one you want to roll with, fine. Get him the money that he needs to get a staff in there. Because right now, I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to hurt your feelings. Mississippi Valley assistant coaches, according to Glassdoor, make between twenty nine and $50,000 a year. Average $38,000 a year. That's damn near $18 an hour, $19 an hour. People. You want these coaches to be on the sideline, grinding out there 24-7, and you won't pay them more than an Uber driver. I said Uber drivers in Austin make more than that. This is what you got fighting against. You want to get someone with the passion and the drive in there, you got to up the damn pay. Or step your ass down to NAIA. It's that simple. Valley must decide. We're sitting here for years, decades, damn near three decades, hoping, praying that Valley steps up. If Valley wins five, six games a year, guess what? That's a great step. That's the best season Valley's had. People, come on. We got to expect more from the institutions on the field. Give these kids a chance. Kids should be going to Valley to develop. Going to college to develop. If you're not going to develop the kids in Valley State, then just turn into a damn JUCO. Work with someone. Sign on there with Ole Miss and say, yo kids that don't make it in the Ole Miss, come here for a year and we'll send them to you better. It's coach. I'm out. Good luck.